Hi, hi catchers welcome back to my channel today we are feeling all the fall feels and we are going to make a one pot vegetable spaghetti i made this last week for me and my husband and it was so good i had to film it for you guys and make it again it was so filling and it's full of tons of vegetables and good stuff for you and it's got butternut squash and tomato and basil and oregano all the stuff that i love for fall and in this video since we're feeling all these fall vibes i'm going to show you guys my favorite fall candles and scents from bath and body works i made an order with them maybe a week or two ago now and i just had to pick up some new candles to fill my apartment with and i love them and i had to share them with you guys this is not sponsored and by any means but i just wanted to share what i picked up so if you're ready to get started with this tutorial keep on watching So for the vegetable pasta, you're going to need butternut squash spirals, baby bella mushrooms, zucchini noodles. I get the ground turkey fat free, the sun-dried tomato chicken sausage, and this is in a regular casing, not a pork casing. Um, you can get some bell peppers. I use about one. I may use two of these, don't know. Got a little garlic and some lemon and of course i'll have other spices in this but that's what goes in it and everything is from trader joe's again not sponsored that's just one of my favorite stores okay so i am turning my stove on to medium heat first i'm gonna add the ground turkey i'm gonna add i'm gonna add just a little bit of oil in the pot with it and some garlic You just want to break up your turkey. And while that is cooking, I'm going to season it with pepper. Just a dash of salt, oregano, red pepper, a little bit of thyme, some of the 21 seasoning salute that I get from Trader Joe's and some basil i just want to continue to get that mixed into the ground turkey and then while that's cooking i'm going to cut up my sun-dried tomatoes and i do use the whole pack because i wanted to make extra of this so we can have it for lunch tomorrow and maybe the next day too these are already fully cooked and you can microwave them if you wanted to or you can cook them for seven to nine minutes in a pan which is what I choose to do when I am making it with pasta. I'm going to go ahead and add that in with the ground turkey. Then I'm going to cut my peppers. I'm going to use a yellow pepper. I'm also going to cut one half of a red onion. I'm going to add this in with the turkey and the sausage. Now that that is added in, you want to give that a good stir. That turkey is pretty much brown, or it's really light turkey because it's fat free, but it's pretty much done. You want to make sure you really cut up any chunks so that it's all getting evenly done. And squeeze the juice of half a lemon. And something easy to do is just put your hand underneath the lemon so it can catch any seeds that may come out. I'm gonna add a little bit of the garlic powder because I love garlic and some more 21 seasoning. Salt. You just wanna mix that. You wanna let the onions and peppers cook down just a little bit, probably another two minutes or so, so about four minutes total once you get them in the pot. We can set a timer if that's easier. I just kind of watch and see when the onions become somewhat soft and translucent and the peppers as well. Okay, so after I let my mushrooms cook down just a little bit, I'm going to add in my zucchini, my butternut squash noodles. And sometimes what I'll do is I will switch to tongs once I put the noodles in so that I can get them coated with all the yummy goodness at the bottom of the pot. So I had the autumn harvest 
creamy from Trader Joe's pasta sauce. And, and to get out the leftover sauce, I will add just a little bit of water. Put the top back on, shake it up. And this gets out all your extra sauce. And I'm gonna turn my heat on low, put the top on and let this simmer for eight to 10 minutes. So while the spaghetti is simmering, I'm gonna show you guys some of my new fall scents from Bath and Body Works. First one I'm starting with is leaves. So the scents for this one is uh, crisp red apple, golden nectar, warm clove spice, and essential oils. Mm. And it smells like you would think fall smells. It's got the spiciness of the apple and um, what else did it say? And the golden nectar. So yeah, mm. it smells really good. So that's leaves. And then the second candle I got, and I got them as a set. Um, Bath Body Works always has really good deals. So I got these two for 16 and one candle originally is $14.50. So I got them at a good deal. This is Sweater Weather, which they have in the three wick candle and the single wick. I got the single wick to try it out. I've already been burning this, as you can see. Mm, I love it so much. The scent for this one is Fresh Sage, Juniper Berry, Aromatic Eucalyptus, and Essential Oils. And definitely is. It's very calming scent, and I like the way it throws in the entire apartment. This one is similar to Sweater Weather. They have Sweater Weather and Flannel, which is this one. Every year at Bathy Body Works, this is my first time getting them. And I had to because I just love the color of the blue. Again, another calming scent, a little bit of a musk. I haven't burned this one yet. I did go in store to get this one. And I'm so glad I did. I love the way it smells. That'll be so nice with like a bath time or just sitting in the on the couch with like tea or something. And this is another one I went in store to get marshmallow fireside. It smells like s'mores and marshmallows and all the goodness in the world. I've been burning this one too. It smells kind of cotton candy-ish, like with, mixed with marshmallow. I love it. Um, it's a sweet smell, but it's not super sweet. It's a light enough sweet smell that you can burn all day long. I had to catch some more deals with the online sale. So I tried their, um, I tried their concentrated room spray a little while ago. I like the fresh cut lilac scent, which is no longer on the website, which I was really bummed about. But these were $2.95 a piece. Normally they are $7.95. So I got the linen and lavender and the eucalyptus mint. Both of these are really good when you want to just spray a room. Um, not even because it smells bad, just because it needs a little scent boost and they're very concentrated. They last throughout the entire day. You can spray it once or twice and it's gonna last for a very long time. And I love these so much and they're easy to travel with if you wanted to take them with you. I like them a lot. And after simmering for eight minutes, this is the final product. And all you're gonna do now is just put it in the bowl. Uh, you can add some cheese to it on top if you want to. I find that it's pretty creamy on its own, so I really don't need any. And that's it. Mm. Mm. It's so good. I got you. Thanks so much for watching this video. I hope you all love Sundays with Ivy, the fall feels edition. If you did, please give this video a thumbs up, comment below. Don't forget to hit the subscribe button while you're down there and the notification bell so you're notified every time I upload. And I'll see you guys in my next video.